Tonight, areas across the region woken up by severe storms and finding damage. One of the worst spots, Calhoun County. THV 11's Ashley Godwin went down to Hampton, where the county judge has issued a state of emergency. All day, the small town has been cleaning up debris off the roads and assessing damage. I talked to one business owner who said he'll have to delay opening his business after the roof was ripped off the building. I got word that in town businesses had broken windows and I was like, I'm going. And I came up here and walked around the building, seen my roof was off and then opened the door and I have water everywhere. <laughs> Zach Anders was supposed to move into his new storefront this weekend. Like Instead, he's spending it cleaning up the damage from Thursday night's storm. I've got some guys coming tomorrow to do some damage control. Um, a lot of prayers. It's been, a, it's been a tough day for our community. The storm hit Hampton around 430 in the morning. Shops were damaged. A house had a tree fall on top of it. A barn blown away by the strong winds and even the old oak in front of the courthouse split in two. I knew by that that we had some bad wind. County Judge Floyd Nutt got the call early morning that the tree had fallen. He's then spent the rest of the day helping clean up. And trim that up. We had some dead limbs. Our museum, library, the roof was ripped off it, had water damage to it. The judge has declared a state of emergency for Calhoun County, hoping they can get help to the neighbors that have property damage. Thankfully, no reports of injuries or deaths because of severe weather. We're so blessed. To, you know, that's the good thing. So we can rebuild, move trees, whatever. Nobody's hurt. So that's the main thing. Now the electric co-op tells me they expect to have power restored to homes in the area by tomorrow. In Hampton, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Ashley, thank you. And an update to that, a little more than 100 people without power right now in Calhoun County. Now we're told if there is damage to any of your exterior power lines, then it could take longer to restore.